Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making a wonderful meatloaf. You guys, we love, love, love meatloaf. And this is the way uh, my mom used to make it. And it's a very simple recipe and it actually comes right off the back of the box of this Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix. Okay, so the directions and everything that you're, you're going to need is right on the back of this box. How simple is that? So we're going to need some ketchup. We're going to need some breadcrumbs. Now the recipe calls for plain breadcrumbs, but I also like the taste of Italian um, seasoning in my meatloaf. So I'm going to use the Italian style breadcrumbs. You'll need uh, two eggs. And then we have, I like to add extra onion. So I've cut up a small onion and also a little bit of the red and green bell pepper. You're gonna need some water. This is three four cups of water. And with the Lipton onion, beefy onion soup mix, we're gonna be using one pack. And then after we get everything mixed up together and we bake it, we're gonna put some more ketchup with a little bit of brown sugar on top of it, okay? Of course, I've already washed my hands. My hands are thoroughly clean. Again, when you are mixing up meat using your hands, pay special attention to your nails. All the dirt, the grime, the crud, the germs, everything that's under your nails will get in the meat. So make sure you pay extra, extra attention and make sure that your nails are clean before you start mixing up hamburger with your, or meat with your hands. Make sure your hands are very clean. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Wash your hands, because that's just nasty. All right, let's get started. My oven has already preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to start mixing up this hamburger. Did I show you guys that I had the two pounds of hamburger? So we have two pounds of our ground beef, and we're going to get this mixed up and ready to go in the oven. I'm going to start with our Lipton onion soup mix. Then we have our two eggs. We have our onion and our bell pepper. Breadcrumbs. And then once I start kind of getting this mixed up, then I'll go back and add my water. And sometimes I usually make sure the eggs or those yolks are broken up before I pour them on here or add them in. start to add a little bit of the water. Okay, I don't want to over mix my hamburger, so now let me just kind of get it in the shape of a loaf. Then I just have a little wire rack here. Did spray it a little bit. And we're going to put it on top. I'm 
we will be cooking this uncovered on a 350 degrees for about one hour. I'm gonna let the meatloaf rest a little bit before I cut it, but while it's still hot, I'm gonna put my mixture of this is ketchup and just a little bit of brown sugar, maybe about a tablespoon of brown sugar. And I realized after I mixed it up that I didn't put ketchup inside the meatloaf, but I really don't think it's going to make a difference. So I'm going to put some on now while it's still hot and then once it cools I'll put a little bit more, put the rest of it. Well, I finished putting the brown sugar and ketchup glaze on the top. Mm. Oh, that's good. You guys, I can't even tell. It didn't even make a difference that I did not put the ketchup on the inside when I mixed it up. I have enough from the outside. And I love it when I bite in to like hamburgers or meatloaf and I taste that little hint of bell pepper. Ooh, this is wonderful. Mmm. Mmm. Finger licking good. So I guess everybody will be in here to eat in a little bit, but I wanted to go on and close out this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. Bye.